that. Steel screws, posi heads, wonderful for building workshops with. Grand for all the sort of odds and ends that we come across that you need to whack a screw in later. Tell me, you can power between that and that. Yeah. Well, right, that'll do. <laughs> the length. That's and that's all there is by gauge. Screw that's in the old standard wire gauge. But it's that diameter there. That's the wire gauge. These are eights. But the difference between that and that, which is also an eight, the little ones are a number eight screw, and that's a number eight screw. started life as three quarters diameter. Each time the, the grinder goes in and, and takes a little bit off the back, it actually reduces the diameter fractionally. You don't notice it for the first couple of times, but after that you start thinking, well, this isn't three quarter anymore. <laughs> On a profile cover like this one, it doesn't matter. The profile just gets a little bit smaller. But on a straight flute, which we primarily use for doing um, grooves, and usually we want to fit a board into the groove. So I'll plough a groove in there and I'll put that board in. We've got to be a little bit careful. We don't just say, oh yes, we'll machine the board to three quarter because this is a board for three quarter. Take it off by, or not take it off, you sort of turn it back using just the, the, only the smooth, mm. the smoothest stuff. Mm. Yeah, you don't need any more than that. Yeah. Because when you, um, let me chisel one. Right. What we're attempting to do is keep the back of the chisel as flat as possible. The flatter that is, the sharper we can get that angle. You know, so the sharper the edge can, can go, rather. <coughs> So we don't want to scrub away at this, and nor do we really, we really don't want to do that, or lift it anything above the flat. It wants to be it's dead flat, just like that. Because any angle we put on that way 